Well, my name is Doug from Carlson Projects. I've been working here, working in roofing sales for the last four years. And uh, one thing that's critical to um, a good, healthy roof is ventilation. When we go in and work on a roof, uh, we look at all the other particulars of it and what kind of ventilation that they have and make sure it's adequate for uh, the size of roof that they have and the type and style of roof that they have as well. Otherwise, what happens is you start building, in the summertime particularly, you start getting a lot of extra heat gain in your attic. Your attic can get up to be 150, 160 degrees, something that's that hot. You get heat transfer into the, into the house, so it's, it's putting extra load on your air conditioning system. But with anything, heat is not good for pretty much everything. The fan quits on your computer, it gets hot, it breaks down, it stops. Your car, the fan quits blowing. Uh, check engine light comes on and your engine can seize up. Your roof is pretty much the same way over a period of time. That extra heat gain uh, will break down your shingles because they're staying hot much longer than they should. Um, so they're staying hot from underneath um, and they're also hot on top. Uh, but then you also keep your moisture trapped in your attic, especially during the winter time um, if you're not having proper ventilation. And so and moisture uh, is really bad for anything, especially when it's in an enclosed space, because the moisture will start doing all kinds of things, deteriorating your sheeting. Um, it affects your uh, quality of air within your home, because it eventually can make its way down to your main home, um, as well as um, condensation, mold, and all kinds of things happening in your attic space. So a uh, healthy roof starts with a ha healthy attic, um, and that's you know part of ventilation. And uh, if you put on that new roof and uh, it's ventilated correctly, it'll last a very long time.